there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Krakow, Poland. And what I'm going to do today is this one a request from a lot of people is Mark, what are some of the cheap cities to visit in Europe? And today we're going to give you our my nine favorite cheap cities to visit in Europe. Now I'll tell you, there's more than nine cities to visit in Europe and there's more than nine cheap cities to visit in Europe. What I'm going to focus on is the nine biggest bang for your buck cities that I really enjoy. And I've looked at culture things to do there, whether it's museums or maybe it's going to the beach or outdoor activities. Um, I'm also looking at the price of eating and hotels, accommodation, making merry, all that kind of stuff. That kind of goes into it, but also I looked at how easy it is to actually get there. So are there the easy jets, the Ryanairs, the Vuelings, the Wizz Airs, all these kind of things that can get you to those towns cheaply, okay? So since we're in Krakow, I'll start with Krakow. Krakow, Poland is a beautiful city. UNESCO World Heritage Site City. You have a great town square with a beautiful St. Mary's Church. You walk inside and you're like, wow, and see it. It's also free to go in that church, so that's nice. And you have the, the blue altar and the blue seal, and it's really great. You have Wawel here, here, up here. You got a cathedral over there to go check out. You can go check out the castle. Also here, when you come here, there's actually a Da Vinci you can go see. Um, another site you want to see when you are in Krakow, you want to go out of town and go see Auschwitz and Birkenau, the concentr Nazi concentration camps. It's a very moving experience to go there, but it's something you should do. So that's, that's the first one on our list. Now, the list isn't like best to worst. These are just my nine favorites altogether, okay? Number two on our list is Lisbon, Portugal. Lisbon has become a really big hub for a lot of cheap airlines to go in and airlines coming from the US. And Lisbon is a great place. One, it is very cheap to stay to eat to make merry if you're going to go there i stick with like apartment stays and stuff like that um when you go there, you can get to the beaches very easily. You have some nice museums, the, the Ancient Art Museum, the Gulbenkian Museum. You can walk around the town and take in the architecture and you'll see these blue tiles. And the blue tiles are Azulejos, the Portuguese tiles, really kind of a cool place. Going out in Barrio Alto at night and it's really a nice laid back place for a great price, okay? Now, let's stick with the beach theme. We'll go from Portugal to their neighboring Spain. And Valencia is a great cheap option to go to. We stayed at some really nice hotels there for a fraction what I would pay in Barcelona or Valencia with a fraction of the tourists. And the cool things in Valencia, you have the, the City of Art and Sciences, which is like, it looks like it's like Star Trek or Star Wars kind of thing there. They actually filmed a Doctor Who episode there to make it look futuristic. Um, and you go there, there's an oceanarium you can go see at, a science museum, all kinds of stuff like that. But when you walk through the city, you have this Art Deco architecture. There's just a really, really cool look. You walk around going, man, this is some cool architecture. And when you're there, of course, you're gonna stop have your tapas and pinchos tapas a little snacks pinchos a little bread with stuff on top all these other things you'll eat really well there and the people are super nice some really cool churches to check out there as well but the thing is because to make it a more affordable place i guess they turn the lights off during the week so if you go during the winter months the lights on the cathedrals and stuff like that don't always go work monday through thursday it's like friday and the weekends for the tourists so there is that okay now my next stop on our list we're going to go over to um let's go over to the very eastern corner of the european union and we're going to go to Tallinn, Estonia. Now, I used to work in the Baltics for a number of years, and I always loved when we had a project in Tallinn because it is literally the prettiest city in the Baltics. And you go there, and you get, you know, the <laughs> the Alexandrovitsky um, Cathedral up there, but you get the Tumpea Hill and the Castle Hill. You go and see all up on top of there. But you walk around all the historic buildings there. The town hall in the center is just cool as can be, um, and you see a lot of actually. Finnish tourists there when you are there because for them it's a very much a cheaper place to go. Now I will tell you if you're looking at city in the Balt cities in the Baltics, Tallinn is probably the most expensive of them, but it's still a good bang for your buck. The next city we can just go down from Tallinn is Riga, Latvia. And Riga is kind of like this I don't know how they say this, Vegasy kind of fun kind of place because you got gambling, you got a little bit looser laws, um, but also you have some really cool stuff to see. There's some really nice churches there. Probably the museum want to check out is the Occupation Museum. There's also an Occupation Museum in Tallinn you can really see that's really nice and that's kind of cool. Um, so you can do that. From Tallinn, well, let's let's go more towards Central Europe and we're going to have number five is Prague. Now I know you're like, Prague? Why is Prague number five? That's like your, one of your favorite cities in the world. Yes, it is. But remember, this is just my nine favorite ones. And Prague isn't as cheap as it used to be. However, it's still a great bang for your buck city with amazing sights. Walking on Charles Bridge and seeing all the statues there, going up to Castle Hill and seeing St. Vitus Cathedral, uh, hitting the square and seeing the, what, probably the prettiest square in Europe with the astrological clock and all this kind of stuff and the amazing churches you have that there. Checking out the Jewish quarter, the Jewish cemetery and the old synagogues and stuff. It's a really amazing place to go see and of course drinking the beer and eating the duck when you're there oh 
so good so good the beer is fantastic there okay now next place on our list well let's just head down the the river the danube a little bit and go to budapest in hungary budapest probably has the coolest parliament anywhere in the world it is very cool you can go up to the buddha castle on the other side of the river you can walk around and have these i mean amazing just immense buildings you're walking by and seeing you have the terror museum so you can see how things happened or what what happened during the communist times and you walk around you have all these major monuments around town you, you know there's like heroes square you can see and, and some really nice parks and stuff that you can go and do there on the cheap and of course if you're looking for a cheap eat when you're there i'd grab some goulash you know traditional hungarian goulash and do that now the next place on our list we're going down to jocelyn's homeland of greece and we're looking at athens greece now there's probably a cooler place to check out in greece Greece, like the islands and stuff like that but for consistent cheap flights Athens is your best bet getting to Athens is pretty simple and the thing is when you get to Athens you have one of the most quintessential like wow moments in traveling and that's the first time you come like maybe you're walking through the Plaka district you know the, the the markets and stuff like that you're walking through and you're in the Agora and you're seeing all these things and you turn and you see the Acropolis Hill with the with the Parthenon on top and you're just like Wow, and you get like that goose bumpy feel and that's free by the way to see it You gotta pay to go up into it But it is one of those cool things and exploring the plaque area going to the the new Acropolis Museum That is really kind of that's a really cool museum. It's really new really awesome um, You also have the National Museum you can check out when you're there So that's very cool and the final one on our nine favorite cheap places to go heading back to my old stompy grounds of Portugal And we've got Porto Porto, Portugal is another hub for these cheap, cheap airlines. But you go to Porto, you have the river, and you have what's called the Ribera District, the river district. And down there, lots of bars, lots of restaurants. You can eat very well, very cheap. But you're going to go to the port wine caves that are there. Yes, where they keep the port wine is made up the river. They bring it down, and they store it in these caves in Villanova de Gaia. So actually, it's Porto and Villanova de Gaia. You go in there, you can do the port wine tasting. Some are for free, some you pay, all kinds of stuff. Very cool to do. And when you go around Porto, you can explore and there's some really beautiful churches there. But what's really cool is if you go to the Sao Bento train station, you go in and you see the blue tiles, the azulejos tiles when you go around, it is just gorgeous. And then a 10th town I'd have on our list for cheap places you can see in Europe that are actually pretty cool and worth it and easy to get to would be here in Dubrovnik, Croatia. And in Dubrovnik, you're gonna be walking the city walls, which is really amazing, and the stone pavers and everything like that. I mean, it's just the whole stone buildings. It really looks like it's out of a, you know, a TV show like Game of Thrones, and they did film Game of Thrones here, and and actually uh, The Last Jedi and stuff. So it's got this really cool otherworldly medieval feel to it, which is really nice. And it's still pretty affordable. Also, make sure you eat some of the seafood when you are here. There's a couple of monasteries to check out, you can see. But the big the big draw is actually walking those walls and, and taking actually some of the boats out here. You can take boats out into the islands and stuff. So that's pretty cool too. So let's go back to Krakow to finish this off. Now these are my nine favorite cheap cities to visit in Europe. Are they super cheap? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But the thing is, there's lots of great places. And if you're looking for some places to get your dollar or euro or ruble or yen or rimby to go farther, these are places I highly recommend. And I go to these places consistently go back to these places because of their great value, great things to do, and good food. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should tell you some food for each of those places. Um, here in Krakow, in Poland, you want to have the pierogi, the little dumpling stuff with either, you know, it might be with mushrooms and cabbage or with meat or sometimes with fruits and stuff like that or cottage cheese. In Lisbon, you're going to have uh, porco preto, black pork. That's my personal favorite one. Or you might have sardines. They're long grilled sardines, which is always really good. Um, when you're in Tallinn, eat the brown bread, the rye bread. It'll come. Don't worry. It'll be with everything. You'll have that. If you're in Riga, go get the cabbage rolls when you're there. You, if you get some grandma to make it for you, that's the best. Oh, I remember the good times grandma's <laughs> cabbage rolls when I was in Latvia. I used to live in Lithuania so it's always right there. <laughs> In Valencia, like I said, get the tapas and the and the pinchos. The tapas are just little tiny savory treats you might have. There's all kinds of different versions of it. I like the croquettes, which is like a ham and cheese croquette, and it's just like put together and then fried into like a little thing there. Really nice to have. If you're looking at Athens, obviously you're going to stick with your Greek food. You've got your lamb, you've got your domatis, which is uh, rice and meat wrapped in uh, a grape leaf. Always really nice. Lots of olive oil, lots of wine, stuff like that. Um, in Budapest, obviously you got the goulash, which is kind of the traditional 
thing there. And then in Prague, like I said, the duck and the dumplings with some good beer. So I hope this helps you enjoy Europe at a cheaper price and have a good time as well, because these are great cultural cities and great cities for your pocketbook. So I'll say bye from Krakow. And if you like videos like this, we actually have a bunch of videos on all these towns on here so you can learn more about them. All at our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you have suggestions for other videos, put it down in the comment section below, because we want to make videos like this to help out other travelers get as much as they can out of their travels. So I'll say bye bye from Krakow and watch your pennies so you can travel some more. Bye!